Hello, My Little Comic Book Ponies! I'm Critical Analysis, and I just finished reading My Little Pony number 39. This issue concludes a two-part story involving many of the foals, but first, let's recap what has happened thus far. Previously on My Little Pony, Tira Lee and some volunteer chaperones took the class on a field trip to the Foal Mountains for some bird watching. But after being promised no homework for a week for the student that spots a bird called the Tarul, the Cutie Mark Crusaders wander off in search of it, followed by Diamond Tiara, Silver Spoon, Snips, and Snails. After realizing that they're lost, they attempt to climb to the highest peak to try and spot the rest of the class. But Diamond Tiara and Apple Bloom slip and are now hanging on by a branch. Can the foal save their friends, or are Apple Bloom and Diamond Tiara doomed to fall? As usual, let's start with the cover. Apple Bloom, Scootaloo, Sweetie Belle, Snips, Snails, Diamond Tiara, and Silver Spoon are all huddled underneath a large leaf in the rain. It's a nice looking cover, but it's nothing too spectacular. Our comic begins where we left off, with Apple Bloom and Diamond Tiara over a cliff. Silver Spoon, oh my Celestia, what's wrong with your eyes? Anyway, Silver Spoon suggests that Scootaloo flies up and grabs the branch right above them, despite what happened just last issue. The Unicorns use their magic to give Scootaloo a boost to grab what looks like a branch no longer than Scootaloo herself. The Foals use the branch to pull up Diamond Tiara and Apple Bloom. Afterwards, it begins to rain and they need to find shelter since it's going to be dark soon. Eventually, they find a cave and set up camp, gathering wood and making a fire. That night, they discuss divvying up the food they currently have, but when Snips and Snails begin arguing with Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon, it turns into an argument between Apple Bloom and Diamond Tiara. Why do you two act like you're better than everyone else? Shouldn't that be every pony else? Because we are! Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon explain that because their families are the two richest in town, they have a lot of pressure put on them based upon their family's expectations and don't expect any other pony to understand. The Cutie Mark Crusaders, however, explain that they are the siblings to three ponies who not only do amazing things in their own right, but have also saved the world, and how that is a lot to live up to. I call foul on this. Who pray tell wants you to live up to the same expectations as your siblings? In my best recollection of the entire show and comics, I can't remember a single time it significantly happened. I say significantly because it did happen in Flight to the Finish, but every pony knows that that was horse maneuver perpetrated by Diamond Tiara. Anyway, Snips and Snails explain that they don't like being treated like the town dunces. After all, they have feelings too. What did we ever do? Well, you did join up with Trixie and almost destroyed Ponyville by luring a baby Ursa Minor into town. They have a few laughs and then get to sleep. The next morning, Apple Bloom crawls out from the bottom of the pile of sleeping bodies. I hope that's all they were doing in that pile. To see Diamond Tiara looking off the cliff. They wonder if they're going to survive, but that's when the Tyrell flies in and then flies away. And then they're saved by Twilight, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, and the Wonderbolts. They fly back to town and celebrate the rescuing of the Phillies. And so our story ends with the CMC discussing that they learn that deep down, they're not all that different. And we end our comic with the CMC disappointed that they didn't get their cutie marks. Don't worry girls, it'll happen soon. And Snips and Snails heading to the Sugar Cube Corner for some cake. Walking in what I only guess is Gungum style. I was afraid I would have to say this, but on a good versus bad scale, this comic just barely falls into the bad territory. The first issue that I have was one that I mentioned last time. This comic occurs before Crusader of the Lost Mark, before Diamond Tiara grew up, before the CMC got their cutie mark, so it's really disappointing to see them like this. And then there's the problems of the art. They keep switching between looking more akin to what they do in the show and this Charlie Brown-like art style. I know it's being used for some over-the-top anime-like expressions, but it's not always used for that comedic effect, such as Silver Spoon at the start of the comic. Plus, you have quite a few bits of problems in sequential storytelling. Another example from the start of the comic is when Scootaloo's weight breaks the branch. She and the branch fall, but in the very next panel, on the same page, Silver Spoon and Sweetie Belle have the branch. What happened to Scootaloo? Is she alright? Then there's the story. The biggest thing that happens in the story is that the Phillies got lost, they have a moment in the cave, and then they get found. Maybe this story is less about the destination and more about the journey, but it feels as if not a lot happened on their journey. They got attacked by a wild bear, Diamond Tiara and Apple Bloom almost fell to their deaths, they had a moment in the cave, Diamond Tiara and Apple Bloom saw the Tarul, and then every pony was rescued. But that's not a lot going on in 46 pages of comic. Little things like their talk in the cave is worth a read, but I don't think it's worth the price of admission, and certainly not worth the price of two comics. But if you still want to buy it, you can find the comic at several locations. You can buy digitally at Comixology, iTunes, IDW Digital Store, 
Amazon Kindle, Google Play, or on the IDW MLP Comic app. Or you can buy physically at the IDW store, Amazon.com, or at your local retailer. Links are in the description below. Hey, thanks for watching! I do more than just comic reviews, so why not click that bottom video to go watch Cyber Angel Plays, where I play various video games. Or click on that top video to go watch my last review. And remember to click that like button and share on social medias if you enjoyed the episode, leave a comment below to help me improve the show in the future, and to subscribe to keep up to date on all of my latest videos. I'm Critical Analysis, signing out.